we're going to be swimming here today. Uh, it is a dog friendly waterfall walk. We are absolutely loving this camp. We are the only ones here. She's always just looking at us barking orders. Unreal. Like right, Chelsea. <laughs> so I just thought I'd give you a couple of little tips. Two tastings, two coffees, 14 bucks. That's pretty Absolute good. Absolute bargain. Hey, welcome back to another video. This one is starting in Atherton Tablelands. So come along while we show you what it's all about. True to the Tablelands nature, it is raining. So I've got the lucky job of getting Chelsea out of the car. All right, you ready? Come on out. Yeah. Come on, you're all right. You I got what? the umbrella for you. You know what's great? I straightened my hair for the first time in like two weeks today. Next minute, starts raining. That's right, I got you sorted. Here you are. We are at the Curtain Fig Tree. So this is a point of interest in a national park here in the Tablelands, not far from Yungaburra. It's a really nice boardwalk through the rainforest, super picturesque. While Chelsea's got the umbrella, I'm just fending for myself, taking the content because she doesn't want to get her hair wet. We're down on the other side of Lake Tinaru, cooking up a bit of a uh, sausage sizzle. We've got some snags from the Atherton Butcher, and um, we've just noticed that there's also a big path along this side, so we might even go for a skate as well. But it's actually really nice around here. Rain's cleared up a bit for now, and should be, fingers crossed, good rest of the afternoon. Bryce has got Mexican flavored sausages, and I've got a real basic, like honey or something. Is that how you shoo the flies away? Show everyone yeah. your technique. You're shooting the flies away. Great for stretching your back and also getting rid of flies. Well, we had to cut them open because they were some real thick boys. And uh, now it doesn't look very appetizing. They don't look as good as what a normal sausage and bread does, but good thing they're going to taste just as good. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit early, but we thought we're near a brewery and Chelsea's birthday is like next month. So happy birthday, Chelsea. <laughs> I didn't even pick this one, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's me taking you out. This is just an excuse. Yeah, that's it. Juice is super pumped. After his big skate, he's like, yep, let's go for a beer. All right, I wonder if they've got any uh, doggy pale ales on tap. This morning we left the caravan park in Yungaburra. We were there for the last three nights. Very good spot to base yourself around near Atherton. But we have no clue where we're going again today. So we just stopped at a donation camp, Rocky Creek Memorial Park. It's just a donation camp, so five, ten dollars a night. It's got really nice grassy areas, but we just don't know whether we need to stop here. So we're just on wiki camp, just trying to find out where we might stay. Now we found a place called Mount Uncle RV Retreat and it's right next to a distillery. That could be a go. It has been quite difficult traveling in the wet season again because you do need to be on power every night. Well, we personally need to be on power every night because we don't have a battery system to run the air con. Worthwhile having a good night's sleep and then being happy people during the day <laughs> than having a bad night's sleep and then not enjoying each other's company as much. <laughs> We just heard so much mud flicking up under the car. Clunk, 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 clunk mud. How good. <laughs> Well, after a little bit of uh, back and forth with me and Chels, we've uh, finally decided on where we're camping tonight and it's Mount Uncle RV Park. It's actually located right next to the distillery. Um, so it's all owned by the same people, uh, which is pretty dangerous because you can park and camp right by the distillery. So we're not gonna head there today, we might head there tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get set up.
Alrighty, we um, see people all the time, uh, I think set up their awning wrong. So I just thought I'd give you a couple of little tips to how we get our awning so tight. This probably isn't very good. This was my side. Look at that. That's a bit sloppy. I bit, need bright bit to saggy, McGee. <laughs> One thing we see all the time when people set up their awnings, and I always have to shake my head a little bit, is where they set up this arm. So it's supposed to be locked in up the top like this and tightened, but we see it so many times where they actually have it down here and tightened. And the problem with that is, is if you tighten it, and you go, oh yep, that's all fixed and finished, and then you knock it up, it's loose again. So it's never gonna stay tight. So make sure, you have your awning arm all the way up the top. One thing that we always look for when we're setting up our awning is the way our awning canvas runs. You want it so that it comes all the way off the end. You don't want to have it so that it sags at all. Because if you've got a saggy point here, then the water is only going to sit in here and pull. And trust us, we've been in three wet seasons and we still have an awning intact. Original. Original awning. One of the best things that we do to have a tight awning is use curved roof rafters. I think these are about a 50 mil curve. You can get smaller ones and you can get bigger ones too, but it makes sure the awning is super tight. It's also great for deflecting the water off the awning. So when you are in a big downpour, there's no low spots that it can pull. With these curved awning rafters in, we've never actually had to drop one end of the awning for the water to drain. It's just never been able to pull. And last of all, which should be a no-brainer is chuck some straps on it and make sure they've got some sort of spring or rubber to allow for a little bit of flex so that way it won't pull your pegs out. And they don't have to be fancy screwing ones like this, they can just be regular ones. We bought our first set of guide ropes from Kmart and they did us a whole year of travel. <laughs> oh my Look goodness! Look barking orders. Let me out! He's always just looking at us barking orders. Unreal. Right, like Chelsea. <laughs> are you right there, mate? We are absolutely loving this camp. We are the only ones here. We've got so much room. And how about this? There's even an off-leash dog area. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Come see. Alrighty, here, sit. Go! Well, first stop in Mariba is the Coffee Works. There's lots of different wineries and coffees. It's quite cool in this area. How come I never get these in the caravan? You're meant to be a barista and <laughs> I just, I want some fancy coffee drinks. We don't have enough freezer room for ice cream, sorry. Ah, damn. Have to sacrifice some mango, you reckon? No. Now on to the tasting. Yeah, now we're talking. Coco crema liqueur. That sounds all right. Latte liqueur. They all can't be that bad. Maybe you could chuck them in your iced mocha. Yeah. Drop a couple in the top. I would yeah. have to sample which one's the best one. You're actually good. Yeah. Well, visiting the Coffee Works is well worth it. They give you a free tasting each and also got a nice coffee. Yeah, so uh, yeah, two tastings, two coffees, 14 bucks. That's pretty Absolute good. bargain. We're just driving on our way out of the Mount Uncle Distillery just for a day trip and there is about 60 peacocks here apparently and I think they're all in the driveway where we're trying to drive right now. Get out the way. And also a couple of local alpacas here. I think they're llamas, aren't they? No, no, they're alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> So this morning we're on our way to Emerald Creek Falls. Uh, it is a dog friendly waterfall walk. So we're pretty pumped. Uh, juice is stoked in the back. So we don't know what the conditions are like because we asked at the information center yesterday and they said, just take it easy. 
Just keep in mind the time of year we are traveling is wet season so things can change pretty quickly and especially up here near Cairns they've had heaps and heaps of rain over the last month or so. Looks like we are the only ones here at Emerald Creek Falls. It's actually fairly cool up in the tablelands. And today it's really overcast and drizzly, so I don't even know if we're gonna be swimming. I guess we'll just see how hot we get on the walk. Yeah, that's flowing pretty fast. I'm very interested to find out what the falls are doing on our walk and how far we can actually get. There's two walks you can do here. We're gonna do the grade four this one's slightly shorter, it's 1.6 kilometres, 40 minutes return, and it's to the bottom of the Falls walking track. The horse flies are intense, but they're tiny. They still bite though. Relentless. Because you're wearing black, Bryce, I'm pretty sure they're attracted to black. Yeah, bad outfit choice for today. We are getting absolutely annihilated, Rony. We are getting destroyed by these little pricks. And they're biting. Thing is, we're only about five minutes into the walk and we're seriously contemplating whether we can do this or not. Yeah. These are bad. We've even brought the flex tails on the back to try and help. So this is our little mozzie bug repeller. We only just turned it on, so probably hasn't even heated up. We've got Bug spray on as well, but it's really not stopping these horse flies. No, these are crazy. I think we're starting to get better. Yeah, you've got about five on your bum. <laughs> wow, check that out. It is pumping up there. That is so cool. As we're getting closer, we can hear like a roar from the waterfall. Have to chuck the drone up after and see what it really looks like. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying we can just turn around? Not get eaten by horse flies and put the drone up? No. I mean, we could work a little bit of uh, video magic and be like, <laughs> oh wow, check it out. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna go to the bottom or the top? Oh, I don't know now. We can always do both. It hasn't really been that far at all. How about we do the lookout? Because I don't think we're gonna be able to get close enough to the water. We'll go to the lookout and then we can always come back to the bottom. Let's go. Thank you. Alrighty, we've made it to the top. It actually only took us probably, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be. So we're at the top, we're gonna check it out, and then we're gonna go check out the bottom pools as well. Wow. Wow. What do you reckon? This is pumping. we're going to be swimming here today. This is crazy. We've made our way to the bottom of the falls and it is so picturesque. It's really nice, bit of a rocky climb, but I think it's going to be really cool. We'll see how far we can actually get. Watch out, watch out, it's slippery. Watch out, it's slippery. I'm so scared of leeches. <laughs> You're scared of everything, no. Check this out. Look how fast that water's flowing. Are you sure you don't want to go for a swim ride? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We've seen photos where you actually walk across this bridge and find little pools, but it's totally underwater. The rest of the walk actually does go across the boardwalk and there's actually a nice blue arrow just over there but I don't think we're going to get across there today. I don't want to jinx it but I actually think the flex tail has helped keep some of these horse flies at bay because about halfway through the walk they all sort of started to disappear and it's been smooth sailing. 
but have we just jinxed it? Are we going to get annihilated on yeah, the way back? We'll let you know on the way down if we get absolutely destroyed by them. Yeah, and we'll just show Bryce's bum just to show there isn't any horse flies around it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just regular Please, flies. Stop checking out my butt. <laughs> As we were saying yesterday, there is a distillery connected to the RV camp here. So it's called the Mount Uncle Distillery and we're gonna go check it out. Just had to send that one down the hatch because I wasn't a big fan of it. Thanks for watching another video. In the next video, we will be heading to Palm Cove. And if you're enjoying them, please make sure to like and subscribe. Catch you later.